Dr. Thomas Tung showcased innovation that Tyco had been working on in the automobile sector. I was talking about our sensor solutions. Um, basically, Tyco Electronics is a provider of connectivity in the broad sense, which is uh, connectors, which is relays, which is other solutions. And one of our most innovative branches in automotive uh, is sensor technology. And these sensors um, enhance safety, they enhance uh, the greenness of our cars, that they are fuel efficient, and uh, they also enhance comfort. NXP Semiconductor's Ashok Chandak focused on innovations that were developed to provide for a better lifestyle. The way we look at it, based on our experience past of working with various automotive companies, what are the challenges in future for the society? And how the technology can address those challenges going forward? And we talked about as how the semiconductor consumption, the electronic consumption into the car is increasing and why it is increasing. So talking about the mobility, the sustainability, the car security arrangement, the safety arrangements, the comfort and so forth. And talking about then how these electronic devices can be increasingly utilized into the car so that they solve the problems of the users and they give them a good experience of the driving. It needs to be not only driving as a fun, but also it must be of interest and as well as a safe. We're showcasing innovation. There are three things we're showcasing here as innovation. Number one, we strongly believe that globally and specifically in India, energy efficiency is very, very important. We have a shortages of the power and energy everywhere, including in India. So whatever electronic devices we use, they must be energy efficient. So we have shown few innovations, such as the innovation for the simple lamp, CFL lamp. How can you use the better electronic circuitry, which gives a higher efficiency and a power factor, and a longer life of the CFL lamp up to 15,000 hours, which is as good as seven years life. Very simple innovation, which touches the life of the human beings every day into the country. An exhibition of innovation. Stay tuned to look at the innovations that were showcased in Electronica India and Productronica India. The future looks very, very rosy for electronics industry here in India. The reason is, uh, very recently uh, it is found that uh, India is the second best for manufacturing, uh, as a manufacturing destination, after China. And uh, what is very interesting or surprising is, India used to be number 14 in this list just two years back. Now it has rose to second position. That shows that India is becoming a very uh, uh, good destination for manufacturing uh, services. So we need to take advantage of this and move uh, you know, uh, towards capturing this huge humor electronics market in India. Electronica India and Productronica India 2010 showcased innovations from over 850 companies at the Bangalore International Exhibition Centre. These innovations presented the cutting edge of product manufacturing technology and focused on developments that gave companies a better management of resources, a greener commitment to the environment and in effect better costs to end users. Trying to extend customer base in India were special contingents from Germany, China and Singapore. These pavilions also provided an opportunity for Indian businesses to understand competing technologies and strengthen business ties. Over 12,000 people were here at this event to understand the innovations showcased. We have uh, got a couple of uh, very interesting uh, products that we are showcasing here. One is uh, very relevant to the Indian market, which is a brushless uh, DC uh, motor uh, fan, which brings in a, a very high level of efficiency as compared to conventional fans. Apart from that, uh, we have uh, some uh, demos on the automotive solutions from uh, Infineon. We are incidentally one of the, uh, the top uh, automotive semiconductor companies in the world. From consumer level tools to high level parts, RS Components has been a world leader in contribution with a catalogue of over 450,000 parts. India has been recognised as one of the major centres for research and development by the global environment. And our pure focus is on uh, electronic design engineers uh, and small batch production industry. Uh, we have reinforced our range by 1,20,000 new products from different technologies. TDK Epcos was among the few companies at Electronica India that reached out to the very bright solar energy future with their innovations. There are so many things happening in solar and that also is brought out in this exhibition. And in addition to that, all this portfolio of the power supply of TDK Lambda is also pictured as here. 
and in addition to that, the new products of Aquas. Electronica India and Productronica India had specialized pavilions to showcase tech innovations. Among the exhibitors in the LED pavilion was Juki India. We are uh, displaying two kinds of uh, products. One is a very, very high speed uh, uh, chip shooter machine which places the components at a very high speed at uh, 75,000 components per hour. And we are also showcasing a smaller machine for the LED industry where the environmental concerns of the government and the lighting industry is going to go. So we have got a new product for the lighting industry also. Th these are the two major products which we are showcasing. EMST Marketing, a regular at Electronica and Productronica, was back this year with an improved offering of their manufacturing system. Last time we introduced a bigger reflow oven called a seven zone reflow oven. This time we have introduced a five zone reflow oven. And every year we try to introduce a new product in the show. And uh, the one which is, is just launched and probably the sales will start in December. The core focus among most companies in this trade fair was product efficiency. We have a new Yamaha machine that is a YS24 and we've sold a number of these in India already. So it's small pr footprint, large board size, uh, high uh, stability and a high uh, uh, CPH. Here we are showcasing our um, screen printer which is uh, basically we have a patent uh, vision system inside which is 2.5D which is very important for the paste printing inspection. It, it helps uh, customers to improve the quality and reliability of their products. So they can check the paste, which is very important. We generate 60 to 75 percent of the defect in manufacturing. So this is very, very helpful and they can really take use of it. Electronica India and Productronica India also featured Indian marketing firms that represented major multinational players. First of all, from IPULS, Japan, the multi-mount uh, component placement system. What we call it as a true multi-mount system which can place literally any SMT component available in the market today by a single machine. We have our major principle, Fuji, with us. Fuji has the tendency to bring in always a new technology to the world. So we have the new head launched from them, that is V12, with a throughput of about 26,000 CPH with NXT2, which is the latest platform from Fuji. And also we have our 3D SPA with the high speed, high accurate machines. And also we have the coil vending machine from Tanaka. Electronica India and Productronica India 2010 was organized by Messe Munchen International, which manages over 40 trade fairs across six continents. With India emerging as an important business destination for world players, this event has proven to be a popular stop for companies looking to grow in the world's biggest economy. We've seen a very good response this year after a small decline last year due to the economic downturn. Um, so we see it as a sign of the industry recovery as well and we're very, very happy about the response this year. I have grown my company basically because of exhibition and advertisement. I'm always a firm believer that if you want to attack a market and ward off your competition then you should be participating in, in a big show like this. I have grown along with the show.